diffusion so what is diffusion the diffusion means the materials are getting transported from throughout the matter so let's take a real life example guys so sugar in coffee if you if you add some sugar in coffee the sugar gets dissolved in the coffee so that is it's uh, diffused in the coffee the second one is the resin color in water if you put a droplet of resin in the that water it gets diffused this, the atoms or the molecules that is in the gases uh, which are very far in the liquids also which are very moderate in the solids also these are closely bound to each other the atomic movement basically in the case of gases is very fast as the atoms are very far away in the liquids it is moderate or we can call it as average so in the, in this uh, solid the atomic movement is very slow as these are very bounded to each other we can also call it like the materials moves from the higher concentration region to lower concentration region so as in this image you can see that the gas gas is having the the space i mean the atoms are far away whereas in liquid the atoms are uh, bounded to each other whereas in the solids there is a mutual attraction force between the uh, atoms so example <coughs> the nickel and uh, nickel plus uh, copper okay i mean the these are diffused together these are the bonded or fused together basically the main is you have to heat that it means uh, you have to heat that particular nickel and copper at higher temperature so in this image the you can see that the copper and the nickel the atoms gets uniformly distributed so guys the diffusion there are several types of the diffusion and the atomic movements the first one is first one is the vacancy diffusion and the second one is the interstitial diffusion the vacancy diffusion so the atoms jumps over the one lattice position to another lattice position that is atoms moves and fill the vacancy in the crystal structure so the vacancy always be there so it creates the vacancy behind the second one is the interstitial that is the atoms moves from one interstitial site to another site creating the interstitial at that particular site so guys what is the rate of diffusion i mean what is the speed of the diffusion how much time it will take yeah speed and how much time to diffuse the metal one metal into the another metal so guys there are two conditions the first one is the steady state diffusion and second one is the unsteady state diffusion so guys we will be covering these two types and the fixed law in the next video so subscribe for the major updates so you won't miss any uh, important topic guys thank you for watching this guys have a great day